and I am still getting questions about the antiquing solution. The top three questions are this. How did I find out about it? What's the recipe? How do I use it? So I'm going to show you all of that real quick in a short video. This book by Mike Shipley is called Whittling Country Folk, and it is a fantastic resource, a treasure trove of knowledge, and I've got the pages dog-eared and folded over from all the time I spent going through it. This is the first place I found out about antiquing solution. Now, since then, I've found various recipes from all over the interwebs, but uh, this was the first spot, and it was right here. There's a little chapter here on standing. Now, if you want his antiquing solution, go buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using the exact same one that he's using. I'm using something a little bit different. And uh, Van Kelly is the first one who's, uh, whose recipe I used. I, and he's got a video on it. So go watch his video as well if you'd like to. It's a very similar recipe to this. It might be the same recipe as this. I can't remember exactly. But mine's just a little bit different. Um, there are a lot of people that have recipes for antiquing solution that are all just a little bit different. I think that uh, Cousin Jack Carves does one with gel stain rather than raw umber, umber paint. And I think that uh, uh, some, some folks are using uh, wood stain, and, uh, just regular wood stain. And uh, John Increasing is using uh, orange oil and uh, raw umber paint that's mixed into Howard's Feed and Wax. And it, it's, it's all basically the same thing, right? A little bit of paint with some kind of vehicle to deliver that paint onto the carving, like an oil-based paint, right? And so that's all we're using. We're gonna use boiled linseed oil, mineral spirits to dilute that, and then that oil-based paint is gonna be mixed in there and diluted, and it's just gonna be a, a vehicle for delivering that onto there. This book, though, from Mike Shipley, uh, Whittling Country Folk, has so many great things in here. This Delmar rough out here, uh, I've cut out that on the bandsaw a couple times and done him. He's really fantastic. Really, go buy this book, it's just fantastic, and uh, it's a great resource, and I highly suggest that you get a hold of it. All right, some of you may remember that I'm uh, preparing for a fall festival here, and I got some pumpkins and some snowmen and various carvings that I've been needing to, uh, to put this antiquing solution on. So this paint is really still really bright, right? I, I put on here uh, jack lantern orange, then dry brush with sunset gold, but look how bright it is, right? So we're going to go ahead and throw these into this antiquing solution, and I just drop them in there and then dunk them in the liquid a few times, just get them thoroughly coated, and then I just wipe it down and wipe it off. There's nothing complicated about this process. Now with boiled linseed oil, you have to remember that there is a danger with <clears throat> regards to the, the rags that you use, right? I keep this in a sealed bucket, but the rags when left crumpled up could catch fire. So they need to be disposed of safely. Look at that, isn't that looking fantastic? Let's compare that to one that's not done. See how much deeper those colors are now with that antiquing solution on there, that little paint gets in there between all of the cracks and crevices you can dry it out a little bit more but uh it just deepens the coloring to everything that you put through there and it brightens up every carving there's a reason chris hammock calls this type of thing turd polish because you can take a terrible carving a simple simplistic carving and really just put it to a new level but like i said the paper towels that you're using to dry these off with and, and clean these can be a problem so for storage what i do is i don't leave them inside the house after I get done wiping this carving off thoroughly, I'm going to take all these paper towels and I'm going to put them in my barbecue pit outside of the house. But the carvings themselves are still going to have the antiquing solution inside. So what I do is I just set them on top of a towel overnight for 24 hours or so. That way they can just drain out into it. And a folded up towel I don't have any issues with. Just a uh, folded up piece of paper towel and set right on top of it. And they just soak through that all night long. And then uh, that gives them the chance to polymerize because you're using BLO, which is why I prefer using BLO over another uh, substance for delivering this. The polymerization process really hardens and protects a carving far more than using, you know, uh, Howard's Feed and Wax or just a gel stain could do. That's why I like to, to use BLO, even though you do have those hazards of the towels catching fire in the shop. Now I'm going to show you some really simple carvings here. I've got a bunch of snowmen. I've got a couple different varieties. I'll keep one of these guys out of the solution so that we can compare and contrast as we uh, dry off a bunch of these snowmen. And you'll be able to see this simplistic style carving and how it looks with this antiquing solution on it. I really love the effect. Even something so simple, like look at this guy. He's so simple. Just a, a few cuts here to make this kind of guy. And that antiquing solution really provides such depth and clarity in the paint. Look at that. I mean, it really brings out 
the quality of the paint it just makes it look so much better deeper and uh, i just i can't rave about this product enough you should make some yourself and uh yeah but that's if you like it you might not like the effect that it has i, I will say this too it, it looks better in person than it does on a 1080p video for my money though i just don't think it can get any better than this stuff here but let's go ahead and uh, grab the last guy in and we'll take a look at one of these other guys here see how he turned out in this antiquing solution here with the blue and the light blue dry brushing and look at that and you're not trying to dry every bit of this off there you're just getting most of it off there and the rest can just soak off soak in and soak into the towel overnight but uh i really think that it brings out the paint that you do so much more now this guy's hat was dry brushed orange with a bit of sunset gold and it's the same type of uh, paint scheme i did in the pumpkins but uh, take a look at his hat here and it just really goes good with that paint scheme i just think that looks so gorgeous with this uh antiquing solution so this is how i apply it like i said just wiping it all off and all these towels when i get done with them i'm going to put them in the barbecue pit outside that way if they do catch fire they'll catch fire in a safe environment and not cause a problem now <clears throat> over the course of the past year i've been doing that all the time that's where i put all these towels when i get done with them, take them outside i put them in the barbecue pit and only one time have i gone out there and noticed that they had all burned up and caught fire so definitely a uh, concern that you should have to fall and get a new towel just make sure you're not storing those towels inside your house and uh, you shouldn't have an issue when it comes to the bucket here i bought a brand new bucket from lowe's with a brand new lid and uh god he looks good and i just keep it sealed up all the time whenever i'm not using it and uh, i pop the top and i stir it up again real quick with a paint stick that stays in the bucket and then uh, i can antique my carvings and not have an issue and again like i said just uh make sure you're keeping track of the used towels because i think i think the what, what happens is they overheat when they're sitting there rolled up and bunched up and uh they just i don't know what it is about the blo look at that guy it looks so great with this antiquing so they look they just look fantastic so all right the recipe that i'm using for this is uh <clears throat> one quart of boiled linseed oil 25 percent mineral spirits and then half a quart of black walnut danish oil and a half tube of raw umber oil-based paint and that oil-based paint and that the danish oil just soaks into the carving a little bit and darkens the wood and helps pop, make the paint job pop all throughout like from top to bottom it's just absolutely fantastic and that's the end of the video folks so uh nice and quick hope you enjoyed it don't forget to uh like and subscribe to the channel um if the video was at, at all any kind of benefit to you and uh other than that watch one of these other videos on the screen here and i really appreciate your time you guys have a great weekend don't forget to head over to etsy and get a carving sticker appreciate you guys